The Map by Ruba Kiwar Chapter 1 The Christian Fundamentalism Part 5 Refutation Salvation under the Spotlight of the Truth Since the beginning, mankind tried hard to find a way to be saved from feeling guilty, to find the eternal joy and end pain. When a person does something wrong, he or she feels guilty according to their moral system. Religions try to gain salvation in various ways. In Christianity, salvation comes through bloodshed. In the Bible, it is mentioned in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Therefore, salvation is attained through bloodshed. In Judaism, salvation is by slaughtering animals. In the book of Levi, we find a system of sacrifice. Therefore, everyone who had committed a sin should bring a sheep or a cow or doves to slaughter it in front of the priest. He or she should see the blood coming out from the animal and acknowledge the sin. The sin will be transferred from the sinner to the dead animal. Christians believe that the only way to gain salvation is by the coming of Jesus Christ on earth, to die for mankind on the cross, and that he is God and human without sin because God is the only one without sin. He came to earth to save the world from sins and suffering. This is the theology of the Christians, however, the Bible mentions the way to salvation by another method. Does God need a sacrifice in order to save mankind? Let's read some other verses from the Jewish Bible, Old Testament, and see what Yahweh said. In the first Samuel chapter 15, verse 22, Samuel said, has the Lord as much delight in burnt offering and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed than the fat of rams. Did the prophets of ancient times teach about sacrifice as a form of salvation? In Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 6 it says, Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Repent and turn away from your idols and turn your faces away from all abomination. Every prophet that God had sent to the people of Israel warned them and called them to return back to their Lord to turn their hearts from evil and purify themselves. In Jeremiah, the word shuv is found more than a hundred times and it means come back or return. None of these prophets called for making sacrifices but to repent and come back to God. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repentance is what John the Baptist called for to the people of Israel. He never called for sacrifices, as it says in Matthew 3, 2. Did Jesus call people to do sacrifice for their sin? In Matthew 4, 17, it says, From that time Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Therefore, salvation is not reached by shedding of blood or even crucifixion. The proper way to salvation is to repent and return to God and believe in Him Almighty as the one true God and not to associate any gods with him. When a scribe asked, What is the greatest commandment? Jesus replied with, in Mark chapter 12, verses 29 to 30, The foremost is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your mind, 
and with all your strength.